Okay, this is, um, the Dark Knight Choker. And, um, I, uh, got this figure because, um, I liked him and, uh, I paid twelve ninety nine um, to the cashier. And I really love him. Um, Mattel made him in a 10-inch uh, form this time. Uh, they had the, uh, 12-inch Jokers everywhere I checked. They were all sold out and there was only one left that I had bought. But, um, they're all gone, and yep, and yep, this one is the, um, uh, 10-inch one. I happened to look over to the Batman section, and I found this guy right here. He just looks spectacular, and, um, he's a really nice cartoonish-looking, uh, uh, Joker. So let me just, uh, get to the point here of him, and, uh... Here's, uh, his, you know, face. This is what it looks like. Um, I like the face. It's really amazing. And, um, it is really cool with the blood and smile and everything. And I like how they, they've done the tie on the vest and the vest with the buttons. One button is missing out here. I don't know why that is. But he's really cool. And he also, he also does have really great hair looking stuff. His hair looks just amazing. Looks like, um... Looks just like, uh... Destructo case the Jokers. Anyways, um... On the back, you also uh, get a really cool thing right here. Um, from TM and DC Comics. So, um, that looks cool. And, uh... I'm gonna review this guy, guy for you, and, uh... I'm gonna hope you like it. Um, articulation. His hands can rotate like this, but they do not rotate like that because of the vest or something. And, uh, his other, his other hand can move. That's how they can go. And, yeah. Then, they can move. And right here, can move. And, they don't rotate right here. They don't pivot. But his head does. And, um, I like how they did the shoes. I like, you know, how his head was made, so, you know, the shoes are really cool. Um, they're better, more better than the Destructo case, the Joker shoes, because, well, they look just like in the movie with the shoelaces attached and everything. And, uh, I like that. And, um, this chain right here, this chain right here does not, is not real. It doesn't move a lot because, well, you know, you know, it's just a plastic, um, plastic chain. I've seen other figures on the internet with the real, um, metal chains, like the 12-inch Joker that can move the chain around a lot. Well, it's more realistic than this one. It's more realistic looking than this one. And, uh, you know, they also have the DC Direct, the Joker on this one. Uh, the DC Direct, the Joker is even more scary as a once it scale doll. I would not recommend to get him because he he could scare scare children, some children. But they made this one kid friendly and they didn't add anything bad to him. Like m the more bloody or the smile or more creepier the black eyes. And uh, he does have waist articulation and uh, can rotate right here. The uh, pivot's really great. So, um, he also does come with, uh, he comes with, let's see, he comes with, uh, this, uh, missile launcher that, you know, I like. Uh, it has a little, it has a little thing right here, a little aiming thing right here, as well as it has, uh, this one. So, and it has a dead smiley face on here. And it looks just awesome with the XX eyes. I have the little one. Yeah. Just like this. Watch out. Oh, I hope I didn't hit that. Um, you can also put it back here. And it has a really cool gimmick right here with the button when it presses. So, you know, just looks awesome. And, um, I really like uh, his pants. His pants could have been more striped, uh, because they don't look, because they don't look striped to me, but they will, and I like that, because, well, they, they require, like, all the stripes everywhere, like, on the back of him, too, 
where he's made from China, and, uh, you know, he looks cool, and, uh, I will show you the, uh, Destructo Kiss the Joker. Hold on. Okay. Now, um, uh, Joker seems a little tall. Um, with the missile launcher. But, uh, this one doesn't, and his shoes are not that great, anyways. So, I'd recommend buying, uh, this figure, because, well, he has really great, uh, you know, articulation. But they can't turn up and down, which is a really big, you know, mistake. And yes, his shoes are movie accurate, so I recommend buying him for that. So, if you're going, if you're going to display the Joker as a statue, recommend you get them. I uh, hope you have a good day, and uh, see you later. Bye.